Hello YouTube, this is Rolando one more time. Today we're gonna uh, replace some rotors and brake pads. So it's good time when you replace the rotors to replace the brake pads. For this job, we're gonna have to use um, brake cleaner. Um, we're gonna use the new brake pads replacement and the new rotors replacement. So what we're doing here first is uh, we're trying to get the the caliper trying to get the caliper out and first thing first we take the wheel off first and then now we proceed with the two bolts of the caliper uh, make sure you get in the bolts that are holding the caliper because sometimes the people confuse and and hit and lose the nut that goes in the holes that bring the brake fluid so right now as you can see sometimes it's not easy to get and you need to apply some strength sometimes hammer it down the uh, or use a bigger rusher to do this unfortunately i didn't have a bigger rusher to do this so i have to struggle a little bit to take it off so always make sure your rush is working counter uh, counter clockwise um and then you try it so we we apply some strength so feel comfortable i mean like look the ways to do better i mean the smartest ways to lose a nut so as you can see i was able to do it and get it loose so and the also the one at the bottom so if you don't if you don't mind to use something to hit the, the ratchet to lose the bolt a little bit but always make sure you hold pretty well the the socket and the ratchet when you're hammering it and then find the best the best position to apply a strength to lose the nut and we're gonna lose that we're gonna lose those, those two bolts and you're about to see that I'm gonna remove them right now both of them those are the ones that are holding the caliper and actually you can see right there these two uh this caliper it was a little bit uh stuck um and i had to use a flat screwdriver to make it come out a little bit before i pull it out so it was uh, very hard to get it out and I will show you later is because I had a problem with the uh, caliper uh, bracket one of the pins gets stuck and uh, later on I'm gonna have to replace it and I will also do a video when I replace that uh, caliper bracket so that's why I had to use like a screwdriver to lose that and you have to when you're working with the car uh, it's important always to think about the safety so if you leave your car uh, you have to make sure um, you have to make sure you put some uh, something to hold it on the back and uh, in case you lift it doesn't roll back and as you can see I have the towers down and I have the jack in the in the middle always make sure you put in the body so when you when we once we remove the um, the caliper um, we're gonna find something to tie it and because you don't want uh, to leave your caliper hanging every time you see a mechanic that leaves your caliper hanging you aren't you aren't the right to tell them to to tie it like to hold it in a safe place so you don't want to cause stress in the hoses that brings the brake fluid because they can get damaged. So that's why we're going to get a cord and we're going to tie it. And you always have to find a place where to hold it better. And in this case, we're going to tie it and put it in the... Tie it against the the shock absorber spring as you can see I'm trying to find something to tie it and I finally got it so I'm gonna make sure I tie it pretty well to the 
shock absorber spring if you give me a second I'm gonna do this right now and I'm gonna put put it together and hold it right there in place so that will give you good chance to work and then we're gonna proceed to remove the pads and after the pad we're gonna use um, a 17 millimeter uh, sockets to remove the the caliper bracket and we're gonna remove the pads first as you can see um, and now there is two bolts one on the top and one in the bottom so once we remove the pads we're about to lose the two nuts and 17 millimeters the bolts that they were holding the the calipers are 14 millimeters socket and what i'm doing right now is putting some wd-40 because the bolts are, are pretty tight it's kind of hard to get loose so I'm putting uh, some WD-40 and let it work for a little bit uh, and see how it works better. And we're gonna wait. We're gonna try to loose these bolts. You know, when you're working in your car and it needs a car that has a 2002, 2003. Uh, in this case, mine is a Subaru 2002 and some of the bolts you know it's very difficult to get because the rust uh, corrosion and everything it make it more difficult so you have to work it out and find the best way definitely what you don't want is one of the bolts breaks so try to find the ways to to be comfortable while you're doing it and the best way to do it you know of course you want um, if you can have two people working with you I mean if you are working to people that's good we were able to lose the nuts of the caliper bracket and now it's coming out so I recommend you to take pictures before you unmount it if you use your first time in my case it's not the first time I do this um always make sure you take pictures or every single thing before take it apart that way you will remember how to put it together back and always keep your uh, bolts and parts organized when you take them off as you can see um, we're getting it so we already got it now um this is the brake uh, the caliper and we got the disc out once you take that part out you can you can freely remove the disc and use some brake cleaners to clean so take a chance when while you're doing it and these are the new drums i mean the new um, discs the new rotors that's the proper name for this part the new rotors and what you do with the new rotors is that you open and when they come in the box and you want to use them for first time they come in these bags is you can realize if they have some oil on them and the oil is preventing from getting roast so that's why you need to use a piece of mechanic uh, paper towel and or a rag a clean rag and clean them uh the, i mean clean it pretty good to take the oil off that brake cleaner will remove the oil off and then when i leave them pretty clean you want to make sure you clean them pretty well before you place them back before you install it so once we install it we can start to work it out and we still take a chance to adjust everything clean everything make sure everything is clean and we put them back once we put it back we start to clean the caliper holder as i tell you before i had a problem with one of the pins that it was 
pretty stuck it's not retracting which i'm gonna replace later and then we're just gonna place in it like that until i get the part the ideal way was to replace everything at the same time but i didn't have all the parts so you put the two bolts the one on the bottom and the one on the top and then once you put the brake caliper bracket and we, we can put now the brake pads as you can see i'm gonna place one i'm gonna show you how to place one and you gotta do the other side the same way i do this you do the bottom side first and you align it and you make sure they are pretty good um and then the other side once we do that we retract the the caliper drums this has a double drum this tool is ideal for the double drum calipers and once we do that we can put the caliper back and the two balls that hold the caliper thank you for watching bye